All right, this is Bill Mara, N2 CQR. I want to show you a little bit today about my new receiver, but first I'm going to let you listen to it here on CW. 40 meter CW. Let me demonstrate. This is a direct conversion receiver. Watch when we go down to zero B. Go to the other side. Nothing. Find another way. And watch, zero beat. Go to the other side. Nothing. That's what it's all about, guys. Getting rid of that image. Getting rid of the other side of zero beat. All right. This project is based on this fantastic article by Rick Campbell, KK7B, in the January 1993 issue of QST Magazine. Um, it is for a single signal, image rejecting, phasing, direct conversion receiver. It's a direct conversion receiver in that the oscillator runs at the operating frequency. But unlike other direct conversion receivers, you do not have to listen to either side of zero beat as I just demonstrated. Rick used the phasing method to eliminate what's often referred to as the opposite sideband or the opposite side of zero beat. It's essentially the same technique that was used in early sideband transmitters such as the HT37. However, here it is applied on the receive side and uh, it's, I think, a really fantastic way to make a receiver. You get the best of both worlds. You get the closeness to the radio signal, the closeness to the ether, if you will, that you get with a direct conversion receiver, but you don't have to listen to twice the frequency spectrum. You don't have to listen to the other side of zero beat, which often causes significant additional QRM uh, in a contact. So. I was really intrigued by the, uh, the circuitry, by the design, by the whole phasing concept. It's also used very extensively now as part of the IQ feed for SDR systems. But this is not really an SDR radio, although it could serve as the front end of an SDR receiver. Um, this, goes, this is completely self-contained, including all the way out to the audio amplifiers. Perhaps in another video I'll talk a little bit about the circuitry. Today I just want to demonstrate the effect. All right, this rig is designed for SSB. It's got audio filters in here that go from 300 hertz to 3 kcs. And, and it uses an AD9850 DDS chip that was, of course, not available when Rick wrote his first article. He did his with conventional VFOs and uh, phasing networks. However, I'm able to use an AD9850 chip with an Arduino and a, a, a board from Kanga UK that provides I and Q, or quadrature outputs, at the desired frequency. And anyway, that's, that's, that's how we do the frequency generation. I, let, me, let me go up, and I'll change the, the tuning increment here a bit. Let me get, get this all squared away first. So we'll get on the right frequency here. All right, now when I'm on SSB, I like to tune in one kilohertz increments, but we'll go up to the SSB portion of the band and let you listen to it. I think it sounds great on CW. And the box, but uh, uh, I, I haven't been able to find it yet. Uh, I will admit, though, that boxes have started to pile up here, and I've started to uh, uh, discard some of them. On the east side of the Hudson River, Kingston is uh, pretty much just across the river from us. Uh, and we're right near the uh, old Rhinebeck Aerodrome, if oh. you know where that is, where they have the world... My father used to take me there when I was a kid. ...line shows in the summertime. That field is uh, less than a mile just to the south and a little bit to the west of us, uh, Larry. Go ahead. Uh, 
All right, very good. Yeah, I know we're not uh, K3BFQ, real fine. Just thought I'd throw that out. I forgot that we have talked before. Rich, very good. Uh, you're not quite as strong as... Uh, I think I know Rich. But you're almost 20 over. Mike is a solid 20. You're fluctuating between S9 and... I really think it sounds great. But certainly uh, respectable. I'm not... Window. And then at that point, I will uh, get uh, some some of the braid I have from the coax. No filters at all, other than the audio filters. Oh, I did have to put in a broadcast band filter to knock down the broadcast band interference from WFAX 1220 AM. I talked about that on the blog. That should take care of it. I'm going to do that. It's not a bad idea. I've been uh, was in the hospital for quite a while, and then four years in rehab. I had a, I sold it all off. My anyway, I really love this receiver. I love the sound of it. I find myself sitting here for long periods of time just listening to it. It just sounds great. Uh, I really recommend it. And I want to thank a number of people who've been very supportive on this project. Uh, first, Tim, KI6BGE, a while back he sent us these fantastic boxes, and it turned out that the box was just the same size as the, as the board that I built it on. I built it on one of these cutting boards that I got at the supermarket. They're from China. It turned out that after I finished the receiver, I realized that the board fit exactly in the box. The radio gods have spoken. I'm going to build a transmitter to match it. Thanks, Tim, for the boxes. Thanks to Tom Hall, AK2B, up in New York City, who helped me with some of my Arduino struggles uh, to get the, the software running properly on this. Thanks to Pete N6QW for many of the PC boards you see in the back. Those squares were all produced by Pete's $250,000 CNC machine that he keeps in his garage. Thanks to Paul M0XPD over there in the UK, who sent me, along with Kanga UK, the shield that holds the AD9850 to the uh, Arduino board. Paul also talked me through and helped me uh, fix some of the problems that we're having. I was having as a result of my less than skillful surface mount soldering. Um, but most of all, thanks to Rick Campbell, KK7B, who has really championed this uh, particular technology in both receivers and transmitters. I, I really liked Rick's article and I liked even more chapter nine of experimental methods in RF design. If you guys want to check out and get more information about phasing, there's no better place to start than chapter nine of experimental methods in RF design. Inspirational stuff, interesting technology, great, great stuff. Thanks to all. 7-3 from Northern Virginia.